Hi, my name is Robert, and I'm restoring a 72 GT6. Join me on this journey of discovery here on Backyard Body Works. Hey everybody, <laughs> I'm Robert and you're watching Backyard Body Works. It is July the 26th and it has been several weeks since we have met together in the virtual shop to work on the car because of, of life, just things going on. But we're back and uh, we are going to be working on getting the floor. Up. I've already got this cut out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to not necessarily at this particular point but at some point I'm going to put the floor back in and I'm going to score on the back side of the floor along this line and then I'm going to cut the floor to match that and we'll butt weld that together. I've got about a quarter of an inch overhang on the floor right here uh, it sticks out about oh I don't know say probably about that far and I want to get it in as close as possible so that everything's flush and we don't have any strange anomalies going on but what we're going to do today is I'm going to be fixing those holes right there and possibly you know working on on this piece here just trying to uh, clean that clean this little corner up just a little bit so that we can put the floor in there um, I still haven't put the turnbuckle in yet because I'm not sure I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use it because um, the, the gap is really close so many moons have passed since I have last been out here in the shop so I need to uh, get some work so that I can stay on a schedule to get things where I want them and not be, you know, 10 years down the road and we're still working on the floors. So thanks for stopping by the shop and let's go ahead and get to work. to make, I'll probably be able to make certain pieces and make them you know, look pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, but, you know, all this piece here and all this piece here, like that. I think that's all one piece. I can't remember, I can't tell um, for sure, but it certainly looks like that's all one piece. You know, all up and through here and across here. Now, um, I've already cut this piece out and I am going to make a template from that to go here so that I've got that lip here and then the lip here, as you can see, there's the, the L there, there's this that comes down and then goes out that way. So I'm going to try and copy this to make a uh, the piece that I need to fit. Uh, the same thing is going to be along here because this is going to come down to a taper to match this and I'm not sure but I think that this is a channel right here it's like a little it's like a U that comes down this way and uh, the fender's supposed to you know weld into that and this is supposed to be a flat piece right through here. I mean, just like it is on this side, it's flat all the way down to here. And you can see right down here where it's supposed to meet. So I can kind of see in 3D space where this all comes together and what all's missing and what needs to be replaced um, based on, you know, the pieces that I've taken out and the new pieces that I have. But you can see where everything kind of comes together. And you know where where all that's got to go, and you know all the finagling I'm going to have to do to make sure everything fits together well. I don't 
think it's going to be as hard as um, I've seen some of you guys that have had some trouble with it. I don't think it's going to be as hard as some of that um, because I've got you know good lines to start with. You know, even though it's just a little rotten, it's not like some of them that I've seen where it's a lot rotten. You know, everything, you know, everything's coming together right here in this center, or this, this corner here. So I'll have to cut this out and make a patch here. And what I'll probably end up doing is putting a little bit of a, uh, putting an L lip on here so that it sticks back, meets this piece here. And I will put another piece on the back side to replace this piece that needs to be replaced here once I've got all this. And then of course, you know, being the sculptor of metal, I will I'll grind it to, you know, to shape so that everything fits. Um, so that's, that's kind of the plan for right now. And I think it's, you know, it seems to be pretty sound. Let's go ahead and uh, get to work on that. And then we will move on to the next step in this process and we will try and get that done. So, stick with us. pieces out that I want I need to fabricate and I was looking at how they go together or how they fit in that little corner there and this piece right here it's got kind of a it's got a slant to it I don't know it's hard to tell because it's I mean the piece it's so degraded but you you can just barely catch the outline of it right there like that it's hard to see especially since I can't hold it together, but I mean, it's got a, kind of a slant to it and it looks something like that. And I'm hoping that I get the slant right. That's going to be the tricky part, but I think I can do it. I think I can make this piece. I'm going to cogitate on that for a while. So that being the case, I am going to uh, go get me uh, some, I've got some card stock in the house. I'm going to bring a sheet of it out here and I'm going to start you know, drawing my pieces out and making the pieces that I need. to this piece I've made it a little bit longer this way see it this like this I've put I've added an extra piece here to, to lengthen this just a little bit and I've added a little piece here in the corner here to kind of give it a, a square shape this piece I think is fine uh, the way it is and um, I think that it's it's going to it's going to be a really good template. I think. So the next step will be to transfer this to a to to the metal, and then cut the metal out. I think that'll be good. So we'll go ahead and get started on that next.
beloved sports fans, car enthusiasts, etc., etc. I've got my pieces. That'll go right there. And this piece here. Let's see if I can hold this. Do this at the same time. Okay. Like that, and it's got that lip on it, and that lip's probably a little bit too long, but that goes up in there like that. And then this piece goes in here like this. That is what we intended to make. It was a little box piece to kind of fill that in so that the floor has something to weld to. Now, that's not necessarily how it's supposed to be. It's still gotta be fitted and, you know, cut and all that to, to size. But that's the basic shape that we were trying to get was that little box piece right there. This piece here, basically cut that out and this will go up in here like so and connect right there to those pieces. Those pieces that I made, I'm very pleased with. I am not upset with those at all. We're gonna go ahead and call it a day. And this being Friday, we will see you tomorrow, which is Saturday. Have a good night. It is Saturday and we are working on the pieces that go down here. Um, specifically this piece right now, we'll work on the other piece in just a minute. And I've scored where I need to cut it to uh, make it fit right in here in that spot. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fit that piece and that other piece together in here and maybe we'll tack it in and uh, get it set so that we can start fitting the floor back in and getting the the floor pan marked out so that we can cut it and get it screwed in not tacked in but screwed in uh, because I want to be able to adjust it while I'm building this uh, this side of the car I want to be able to adjust it to uh, to fit the size that I need if if these gaps don't come back the way they should so I just I just want that ability to adjust it some so let's get to it shall we As you can see, I'm trying to be very careful when holding the camera so as not to make a lot of noise. Okay. 
there's the hole that I made this piece for. Okay, and there it is. It's fitted in and it fits pretty good. And it's, it's not perfect, but you know, I think that's pretty close. I mean, everything's lining up, it's meshing together, and I've got just enough lip long here for the floor to, to weld into. Of course, I've got a really big, huge, you know, lip up here. I don't know if that's to be ground down or, or what, but, you know, I'll check the other side before I do anything. And we'll mirror, we'll mirror what we've got going on here. It's all worth it when you start seeing things coming together, so. We're gonna, y'all have a good night and we will see you back here tomorrow. Hey everybody, it is now Sunday and we are going to be back working on the floor. Um, yesterday we left off with, I had put this, the inner sill in. Something just, something just doesn't look right about it compared to when I'm looking at it on the other side. The inner sill here is even with the strengthener piece on the edge there. It sticks way up. So I don't know if this is too high or the lip here just isn't big enough. You know, it's just the, the fact that the parts need to be fitted. And you know, if that's the case, then that's, that's not a big deal. I can handle that. I just, I just want to make sure I'm doing it correctly so that when I go to we put all this stuff together that everything fits properly. I'm just concerned that, you know, I don't have the pieces in correctly. So I'm trying to, you know, measure each piece and I'm trying to compare it to the other side. And it's hard because the other side is rotten. I'm trying to make sure that everything is symmetrical. Over here on this side, I'm kind of concerned that, you know, that the pieces are a little bit, you know, different and I don't know if that's because it's the way it's the way they're made or if I've just got them in wrong otherwise I'm gonna have to uh, to rethink some things thanks for stopping by the shop we will go ahead and get started and we will get moving along I think I figured out the issue with the sill and what I came to find out is that it definitely that it definitely was this piece was too far down so I am going to install well I'm not going to install it but I am going to fit the floor in I'm going to take all this stuff off and then fit it all back together and see if that is correct so we will move on to that and see if we can't put all this together. The sills and all the pieces are now fitted that I was wanting to fit today and darn if everything doesn't fit together really nicely I'm very pleased not bad for government work um, but right now the uh, the floor still isn't quite meeting the sill yet well, not a big one you know it's probably like about that big you know probably three millimeters the width of three dimes thinking that once I get that cut out and fitted that it's going to pull that in just a little bit or just enough that you know a lot of the things that I'm seeing as anomalies are going to go away or 
when I do that, it's gonna create <laughs> a whole new set of problems that I figure out how to fix. Let's get on with that and uh, we will continue on. going to conclude it for tonight I'm getting ready it's already it's nine o'clock I'm I'm starting to get a little tired next gotta get a shower and we'll continue this for a couple hours before I go to work I think we got a lot accomplished today I th I'm I'm very pleased with the way things are, uh, things are coming together but I think we're getting pretty close to um, being ready to weld here soon tomorrow we'll go ahead and weld this piece in Thanks for stopping by the shop today, and we will see you guys tomorrow morning-ish. We'll go ahead and get uh, we'll get started early tomorrow, I guess. All right, y'all have a good night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it is Monday. Uh, today will be a short day because I have to get some sleep and get to work. But what we're going to do today is we are going to weld this piece here uh, underneath and that will finish off that rear bulkhead repair let's go ahead and get started uh, thanks for stopping by the shop we'll go ahead and conclude this up today and be done thanks for joining us stick close video thanks for stopping by checking on our progress we got a lot accomplished got the floor fitted we got the inner sill and the uh, strengthener piece fitted we got the rear bulkhead repaired the next uh, series of pro the project on that will be to uh, fit the lower a post and the lower B post and get all those pieces uh, trimmed and fixed which we'll get into in next video Thanks for stopping by the shop. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like today's video, by all means, give us a thumbs up. If you want to get alerted every time that we upload a video, either this project or any of the other projects that we're working on, click the notification bell and that will alert you every time that we upload a video. I am really pleased with our progress. We're really getting somewhere and it's starting to look good. So. Continue to follow us and continue to check on our progress. And thanks for your support. Y'all have a blessed day and goodbye.